Words to know. Choose two blue words. Use them in sentences. Teacher. The art teacher shows how to use a brush. Studied. She studied the flower before she drew it. Surprised. He was surprised to see such a big statue. Toward. He walked slowly toward the art table. Bear. The picture of the bear looks very real. Above. These shapes hang high above the floor. Even. This box has even more crayons in it. Pushed. He pushed the clay into new shapes. Read and comprehend. Compare and contrast. As you read, ask yourself how things are alike and different. Good readers use text evidence to compare and contrast. Things like characters, settings or events. Use a diagram to show how two things are alike and different to understand the story better. Target strategy. Monitor clarify. If a part doesn't make sense, reread it, ask and answer questions about it, and use the pictures for help. Preview the topic. Visual arts. There are many ways to make art. You can use crayons or markers to draw. You can paint a picture. You could cut shapes out of paper and glue them together. A computer can be used to draw and find pictures for artwork. What are some ways you like to make art? You will find out how one girl makes art in the dot. Compare and contrast. Tell how two things are alike and different. Genre. Realistic fiction is a story that could happen in real life. As you read, look for characters who act as real people do, events that could really happen. Meet the author and illustrator, Peter H. Reynolds. It took Peter H. Reynolds a year and a half to write the dot. He named his character Vashet after a young girl he met at the cough shop. Mr. Reynolds wrote Ish as follow-up book to the dot. <coughs> the dot. Essential question. What are some different ways to make art? Art class was over, but Vashet sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Analyze the text. Figurative language. What does being glued to your chair mean? Vashet's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah! A polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashet. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashet grabbed the marker and gave the paper a good strong jab. There! Her teacher picked up the paper and studied carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashet and quietly said, Now sign it. Vashet thought for a moment. Well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. The next week, when Vashet walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn, her dot, all framed in swirly gold. Hmm, 
I can make a better doll than that. She opened her never before used set of watercolors and set to work. Vest painted and painted a red dot, a purple dot, a yellow dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the yellow. She discovered that she could make a green dot. Vashet kept experimenting lots of little dots in many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashet splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashet even made a dot but not painting a dot. At school art show a few weeks later, Vest's many dots made a quite a splash. Analyze the text, compare and contrast. Does Vest have a different feeling about her dot now? Explain. Vest noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You are a really great artist. I wish I could draw he said. I bet you can, said Vashet. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashet smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Vashet stared at the boy's squiggle. And then she said, Sign it. Comprehension. How to analyze the text. Use these pages to learn about compare and contrast and figurative language. Then read the dot again. Compare and contrast. When you compare and contrast, you tell how things are alike and different. Think about what Vashet is like at the beginning of the dot. She changes by the end of the story. Use a diagram to tell what she is like at the beginning and at the end. Also tell what things about her stay the same during both parts of the story. Beginning, both, end. Figurative language. Authors sometimes use words that have more than one meaning. In the dot, the author writes that Vashit's dot's pictures made quite a splash at the art show. The author does not mean that her pictures made people wet. He means that Vashit's pictures are amazing and surprising, like a big splash. What other words mean something else in this story? Your turn. Return to the essential question. Turn and talk. What are some different ways to make art? Think about how Vashet makes her art. How do you think the little boy at the end of the story will make art? What other ways could they create art? Classroom conversation. Talk about these questions with your class. 1. How does Vashti's art teacher help her? 2. How are Vashti's paintings alike? How are they different? 3. How are Vashti and the little boy alike? Write about reading. Response. Choose one piece of Vest's art. What colors and shapes do you see? How did she make it? Discuss your ideas with a partner. Then write sentences to describe the artwork. Use text evidence to explain your ideas. Writing tip. Add details like adjectives to tell more information about the artwork. Journal. A biography tells about events in a real person's lives. This selection tells about more than one artist, 
Fun facts about the artist's life. Captions tell more information about a photo or picture. Use the captions and photos to find out more about the pieces of art. Artists create art by Ann Rogers. An artist makes art. Some artists paint pictures. Other artists make things. Dave Wynn made this grizzly bear. It stands above a pond in New York. Dave Wynn's sculpture, Grizzly Bear, is at the Donald M. Kendall Sculpture Gardens. Seated figures. Study for a Sunday afternoon on the island of the Grand Jat by George Seurat. George Seurat went to art school in France. Look at his painting. Once you have studied it, you will see it is made of many brush strokes. Are you surprised? Teresa Grandma Prisby used glass bottles to make her art. She learned by herself. No teacher helped her. Grandma Prisby made the wishing well shown below. She even made a building where her grandchildren played. What kind of art would you like to make? Would you like to paint? Would you like to build something? There are many kinds of art. Compare texts. Text to text. Compare artworks. How are the artworks in the two selections are like? Which artists from artists create art? Do you think Vash would like? Tell why. Text to self. Talk about feelings. How do you feel when you try your best? Take turns sharing ideas with a partner. Text to old. Talk about art. Where have you seen artwork? Have you seen it at school, at home, or in your town? Tell about what you saw. Grammar. Exclamations. A sentence that shows a strong feeling is called an exclamation. An exclamation begins with a capital letter and ends with an exclamation point. You are a great artist. That is such a beautiful painting. Art class is so much fun. Try this. Write each exclamation correctly. Use another sheet of paper. 1. I can't wait for our school art show. 2. This will be the best show ever. 3. We are going to have a great time. 4. That drawing Ramon made is so tiny. 5. It is my very favorite in the show. Grandma in writing. When you revise your writing, try using exclamations to make it exciting. And each one with an exclamation point. Opinion writing. Voice. When you write opinion sentences, you can help readers hear your writing voice. Use exclamation to show your strong feelings. Jill wrote an opinion about Vashet. Then she changed a sentence to an exclamation. Revised draft. I think Vashet is a really great artist. Writing traits checklist. Did I use exclamation to show my strong feelings? Are there any sentences that do not help explain my opinion? Did I delete them? Did I use the correct end marks? In Jill's final copy, how does she show that she feels strongly about her opinion? Now edit your writing. Use the checklist. Final copy. A great artist. I think Vashet is a really great artist. 
One reason is that she thinks of lots of ways to paint dots. Another reason is that her paintings are very colorful. I would like to paint like Vachette.